Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharmishta and this is English with Sharmishta. Today I am going to talk about a poem. The poem On Killing a Tree by Give Patel is included in the syllabus of English B, West Bengal Board, Class 12th. Plus, this video is going to be useful for anyone who has this poem in their syllabus. Because today I am going to give you what you can call the substance of the poem or the analysis of the poem or the explanation of the poem. So let's move on with the poem and give the poem a look. On killing a tree, it takes much time to kill a tree. Not a simple jab of knife will do it. It has grown slowly consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water and out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves. So hack and chop, but this alone won't do it. Not so much pain will do it. The bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs, miniature boughs which if unchecked will expand again to former size. No, the root is to be pulled out, out of the anchoring earth. It is to be roped, tied and pulled out, snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed, the source white and wet, the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth. Then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air, browning, hardening, twisting, withering and then it is done. So if you can understand the poem, it is contemporary as well as ironical. It is contemporary because now is a time when science, technology, comfort and convenience of modern living is leading to the destruction of nature. Trees are cut down ruthlessly. This poem is ironical because this poem tells people how to kill a tree. As if the poet wants to tell the method to kill a tree. But actually it signifies how far people can go to kill a tree. And the explanation of killing a tree in a step by step method is like the description of a proper murder done by cruel people. Now the first stanza describes that you cannot kill a tree by a simple jab of knife because it has grown by consuming sunlight, air, water and minerals. So if it is given a jab of knife, leaves will grow from that part of the stem. In the second stanza, the poet goes on explaining that if the stem of a tree is hacked and chopped, then also after some time, green twigs will grow from the stem, which will become normal sized branches if not destroyed properly. In the third stanza, the poet tells how the tree has to be uprooted completely. The white and the wet part of the root, which is the strength and the most sensitive part of the tree has to be exposed to the sun. Then in the final stanza, the poet explains how the white and the wet part has to be scorched, hardened, brown, twisted and withered to kill a tree completely. The last line, then it is done, sounds like a proper murder. The poet exposes the cruelty of human beings towards nature. It's a complicated process to kill a tree, but people do it anyway. To make space for the growing population, to make paper, to make furniture and endless other things. The poem ends like this and what we have to do as intelligent population by thinking about the future generation that is up to us. So the poet keeps it open-ended for us to think about it. So that was the substance of the poem on killing a tree and that was all I wanted to say today. I hope you can understand the poem and get my point and I hope you can answer if you are asked to write the critical analysis or the substance of the poem on killing a tree by Give Patel. So that was all for my video today. I hope you found it useful. If you found it useful, do like it, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Keep reading, writing and listening to a lot of English. And do take a very good care of yourself till I come with my next video. Bye for today.